Hello there. Welcome to this series of videos. This series is called Truth Be Told. Musings from my balcony. So it is the winter and I finally have the opportunity to sit on my balcony and catch some fresh air and have deep conversations with you about concepts and phenomena. What this series is about is topics that are not normally discussed, especially things that are from the psychology domain. I like to bring philosophical, psychological concepts, and I like to relate them to everyday life. And today I want to go in hard and I want to go in big. If you are unfamiliar with the psychological concepts, this is what I recommend you do. A very simple Google search will allow you to find out what the concept is for you to get your own perspective of it. Don't take my word for it. I do not want you to take my word for it. I want you to make your own mind about some of these things so that we can have intellectual dialogue. Okay. There is something that Sigmund Freud calls the Madonna Hall complex. So sometimes you will see the MWC, Madonna Hall complex. And it is a complex that misogynistic men have. Again, go and look up what misogyny is. I am just going to go straight and cut. It's a, a belief. It is something which is from patriarchal society. When you believe in patriarchy, when you believe in the objectification of women, when you believe that women are here just for men's gratification, when you want to strip women of agency and power, you like to categorize people and people who do this in various categories but today we are discussing one particular concept we are discussing those who have the madonna hall complex and i'm going to explain why it is unhelpful to all kinds of women it is pigeonholing and it is something that both types of women who would have been placed in these extremes will have to work on embrace and to move past so the Madonna Hall complex is this. There are some men who have women in two categories. You are either the Madonna, the Holy One, the Beautiful One, the Pure One, the Respectable One, the Wholesome One, but also the Boring One. The Madonna is supposed to be good. It's supposed to be pure. It's supposed to be, they, they are the girls that you find from church. The Madonna is a girl who preserves herself. The Madonna is one who has a low body count, if any. The Madonna is one who is the wife material. But the Madonna is also, those who have this view, have the view that the Madonna is boring, that the Madonna is not streetwise, that the Madonna is not exciting. So most of these men who go out and marry the Madonna because she is a wife material, but as soon as they marry the Madonna, they leave the Madonna at home. They are themselves not the equivalent of the Madonna, but they do want a Madonna. The one who is exciting, the one who is wayward, the one you cannot marry, the one who is for the streets, is also exciting. That one, with a high body count, is able to do all sorts of crazy things. And that one does not matter. How, how, what they have to do to satisfy themselves, they will prioritize their satisfaction over certain things. And so the Madonna, pure, fit for society, but considered boring. And many men who marry the Madonnas will end up leaving the Madonnas. They will end up cheating on the Madonnas and they will find themselves with the whore with the other one. You will feel sorry for the Madonna at this point, right? Mm. Hold that thought. Let's go to the whore, the Eve, whatever you want to call her. Maybe Eve will sound better to some of you. I did not name this policy, by the way. This theory is not mine. I'm just telling you the names that are already out there. But if Eve will make you feel better, Eve is the one in diagrams. The Madonna is always dressed. She's always pure. She's always white. She's always covered. She's demure. That's the new trend on social media, isn't it? 
she is demure eve is catty eve is naked eve has an apple eve is chatting to the snake eve is the snake <laughs> the women who are the eves they know how to go to parties they are not exactly fully clad they are half naked body parts hanging everywhere yes they are able to be with different people and usually they are not afraid to let you know what they want how they want it you were feeling sorry for the Madonna let's start feeling sorry for the Eve also because you see these misogynistic men they don't want to marry the Eve mm -mm. she's not good enough to present in wholesome society mm -mm. the Eve cannot be the mother of their children mm -mm. Mm -mm. they do not want to mix blood with the Eve they just want to get in her knickers these men who have these complexes are users they use both the Madonna and they use also the Eve the Eve will be made to wait. The Eve will have to play second fiddle her entire life. She will never be wife doc. She will never be given the security of being somebody's wife. She will never get the social acknowledgements. But this rascal will sneak into her bed. This rascal will come and do all sorts of things. But then in public will treat her as if she smells. The disrespect that the Eve gets and the complex that a lot of the Eves get, you will not believe it. Oh, the Madonna is also not free of complexes, by the way. I became aware of this quite early in my life. And I have a declaration for you. I would be the woman that would be described as a Madonna. I have very particular concepts about being a mom. I have particular mindsets around children and how to raise them. I come from stock where we do certain things for our families and for our homes. And no, yes, no, I'm not interested in the high body counts either. I have value for self and I have incredible expectations for the preservation of self. Even at my age, even at my age, which can be ridiculous to some people. See, those like me, who are good, who are wholesome, who are this, should be boring, I discovered. And I realized that this pigeonholing of the Madonna was trying to strip you of agency. A woman like me is not supposed to be aware of my feelings, even though I live in this body. I am not supposed to know what I like, and I'm not supposed to go after it if I want. I am supposed to be subservient. I am supposed to be here and be boring. I should wait for chicken change from my husband after he is done with whatever Eve he wants to play with. I should be left home to babysit <laughs> and to entertain the kids, which I do. But very early on, I realized that it was also up to me to exercise some agency to ensure that I was not accepting the full pigeonhole of being boring. It is possible to have the views that I have and also know the things that I like with the chosen one. Whoever is chosen. No, I was not going to sit here and lie like a log and wait for the chosen one to do X, Y, and Z if X, Y, and Z did not work. I have had many conversations with people who say that I have multiple personality disorder. I have split personalities. You are confusing. You are all over the place and it makes me laugh. The reason why I am confusing is because I refuse to sit in anybody's box. Put me in the box and you come find me outside dancing naked if I can. I have also been very clear of the things I like. No, I don't do it with the world and its friends, but I know exactly what I like. And I'm not afraid to say so. And I'm not afraid to do. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. 
I will let those who come from the Eve perspective talk to you more about the Eve perspective because I can't actually talk to you about the Eve perspective because I did not place as an Eve. I do not operate in that domain. It will be secondary information I can share from my experience. But I think what I am saying for myself as a Madonna, possible Madonna, could be flipped very easily to the other side and I will leave you to draw your conclusions. You might be a woman who doesn't mind a high body count. And if you don't mind a high body count, that's your choice. You can be a woman with a high body count and also have good philosophies about raising children. Yes, you can. You can be a woman with a high body count because you want a high body count, not because you need your rent to be paid. Because a lot of the Eves were also placed over here. They were made to believe they had to be party girls, that they didn't have to get a profession, that they didn't need to work. A lot of the Eves are totally dependent on these men and at their mercy and at their beck and call. They put up with a lot of rubbish because these guys will give you a dime or two for whatever. The Madonnas too. A lot of the Madonnas were also made to give up a career and stay home. To become poverty stricken. To be completely disenfranchised. And when you were home with no money, with no capacity to make yourself look good, to be on point and be on trend, to be exciting, to only stick of what happens in the kitchen, be up in the kitchen when he left and be in the kitchen when he came. Kitchen, kitchen, cooking, cleaning, puts you also in a pigeonhole. And in order for women to be able to contend this Madonna whole complex, the Madonnas will have to look at areas that you want to temper. And the horse will have to look, excuse the French again, I'm just using a term. I don't see why you'd be upset anyway. Yeah. I could also be upset by the Madonna title, but I'm choosing to move and roll with the punches. I expect you to have the same maturity to move with it anyway. I'll use the term as it is. Go beat Freud if you want. Anyway, the Madonnas will have to learn to become assertive, even as a Madonna, to become very proactive to become vocal, to become self-advocatory. You have to advocate for yourself. You will have to be able to tell people what you want. And you will have whatever position you adopt. What you can't be is poor. What you can't be is disenfranchised. What you cannot be is in a position where your agency has been stripped and you are at somebody's mercy. So as a Madonna, you will have to realize the things that could be the tools for stripping you of your agency. And you have to be very smart to position yourself against those tools. As I said, poverty is one of the things you certainly want to avoid. Social exclusion is certainly something you want to avoid. In fact, giving up your career in my book, is something you might want to avoid. Mm -hmm. Giving up your social circles in order to play more to the Madonna and fit the perspective is something you might want to avoid because all those things make you vulnerable. All those things make it likely that your agency will be taken. And when your agency is taken, it is pain that you will get in return. If you are an Eve, again, you don't want to be poor. If you are an Eve, you've got to have some standards. There are some nonsense that people would wash and want you to play with and you'd have to end up saying to people, hell to the no. Not happening. Yeah, I like a party, but you will not disrespect me. Mm -mm. And if a person mistakenly attempts to disrespect you, you will have to learn to put people in their places because again, you are very vulnerable to disrespect. As an Eve, a completely different kind of disrespect to the Madonna, but still liable to disrespect. You are going to have to accept that this is your choice. And this is how society would want to. 
society would want to tell you that because you have chosen to be a whore, you are unfit for this and unfit for that. And you should accept any terms and conditions that any man wants to play with you on. And you should be grateful that he even considers you. It is a very realistic position for those who play at that angle. And you're going to have to learn to just decide to accept what is and let it be. To not attempt to change people's perspective. To let people believe what they want to believe. And for you to position as you want. When women begin to position confidently. When women begin to position assertively. When women choose to be who they want to be and not necessarily sit in any box. If you want to fit in the Madonna half of the time and jump to the other side whenever you want, that's your prerogatives. It becomes a take it or leave it deal. If you want to be a Madonna, but take certain patterns and behaviors and borrow certain ad attributes and whatever, and still creates your Madonna position. After all, it is a spectrum, my dear. Yes, it was created as a pigeonhole for women, but we are going to take it and we are going to make a spectrum out of it. And each one of us is going to find ourselves a position, which is our personal equilibrium on that position. And once we have made our bed, we are going to make peace with it. We are going to accept that we've made choices and there will be consequences to, to them. And we would be willing to accept the consequences before we make the choice. So before a woman decides to be a Madonna or a whore or somewhere in between, you will have to actually consider very carefully what you can live with, what you can tolerate, and make peace with it before society forces you to accept positions you might not like. And for the men, when a guy meets a Madonna character, and you are off on a tangent. People are like, what? I get that on the social media street a lot. Most of you pick up the fact that I'm a goody two shoes because I am. And on the occasion when goody two shoes chooses to swear, people cannot believe it. <gasps> did you swear? Did you? Yes, I did. Normally I do. And whenever I want, I do. <laughs> if you say something that is sexually suggestive, oh! Ooh, and I used to have to say to people when I first came here, honey, you do know that I have two children, right? <laughs> and you do know that I did not adopt those kids. You can tell from my children's faces that they are very biological. Mm -hmm. And yes, I participate in activities that produce children. <laughs> Be married more than two decades. I enjoy me some activities that people's pigeonholes may not necessarily expect you to enjoy and no i'm not afraid to admit it either and i cannot explain to you how liberating it is to make my bed and accept my bed and be happy to lie in it posing like this and whatever your opinion is however that makes you feel considering this is not your bed and you should be busy in your own bed i will leave that on to you see the madonna hall complex will have to be tackled from any gender, from either perspective, with open-mindedness and with bravado to contend. If you meet a guy who wants to pigeonhole you into something, be very careful. Whether he's positioning you as the good one, the perfect one, he has a pedestal for you to sit on. Honey, honey, be careful before you climb his pedestal. Because the pedestal will end up being a trap because that is what happens to a lot of the Madonnas. Mm. He wants to descend into, uh, descend into hell with you. Lovely. <laughs> you may well find hell also a prison. Mm. You may find yourself in positions that you might not be allowed to shift easily. And depending on how energetic you are, you may or may not find it easy to escape. You might want to be very careful. And for the men, if you see a woman to be perfect or terrible, I will let you self-diagnose. <laughs> I will let you understand that you have a psychological warp. And I will highly encourage that you do realize this warp and you do some work to compensate. No woman is good. No woman is bad. 
just as no man is good and no man is bad. Everybody can be good when they choose to be. Everybody can be bad when they choose to be. And in fact, the notion of good or bad is yours, not theirs. Often, it is you who decides what is good and you who decides what is bad. People just want to be done and want to live their best lives and do and live with, with the consequences also. It is you who often cannot accept and let people be. As I said, I like to muse. And I like to muse. You will find this topic very confusing, especially those of you who like to have a judgmental conclusion on something. I must know what is the verdict. There is no verdict on this one. Each one is allowed to make his mind up on how you want to feel about this and how you want to position. That's fine. My desire was to present a balanced conversation where various perspectives were shared so that it invites you to choose which perspective you want to adopt, where you want to temper, whether you want to shift your mindset or stay where you are is entirely your bare prerogative. And I have no intention to influence that. <laughs> okay. This has crossed 20 minutes. Yes, it has. And I do not want it any longer than 20 minutes. So let's put this out here and let's talk. Hello. I would have been a Madonna until I decided to borrow some things from Eve. What are you? A Madonna or an Eve? And for the guys, who do you prefer? Have you married a Madonna? And are you lusting after an Eve? Mm. Who created that mess? Why ever would you even put yourself in that position? Let's meet in the comment section and dialogue.